Welcome to DataBuild's audio visual instruction. This session looks at the catalogue. Click the catalogue icon on the main toolbar and the catalogue screen appears. The catalogue screen has its own toolbar. So far there is one item in this catalogue. To add a new item, click the add a new item icon in the toolbar and an entry box appears on the screen. Enter in an item code. Item codes can be alpha or numeric or both. When you click OK or hit Enter, the item is created. Type in a description in the description box. In this case, it's for some pine timber framing material. Drop down the menu for the unit of measurement and make a selection. In this case it's a linear meter. Select the cost center that you want to attach the code to. I want to put this one into pine framing material. You will get familiar with the cost centers and their location as you get familiar with your system. Enter a price for the item and hit the enter key. The system will tag the new code with today's date. Let's enter in another code. When you click the new icon again, the system will prompt with the last code that was entered, which you can change easily. Click OK. Type in a description. You can cut and paste or copy and paste into this field. Select a unit of billing or unit of measurement. The cost center is already there but I'm going to click it anyway to make sure. Type in a price and click enter. Let's create one more, this time giving it a numeric code. This code will be for drafting. 1001, that'll do. Type in the description of drafting. Select a unit of measurement. The unit this for this code is per job, which is right down the bottom. And the cost center is drafting which is right up the top. Notice the code is displayed in green. That is because the unit of measurement default color is set to green. We can have a look there. There's our units of measurement and down the bottom there is the green code. There, you have started your catalogue. There is a lot of work involved in setting up a catalogue. Catalogues can contain thousands of items. It is suggested you take a close look at the sample data files supplied with your system. Here is a catalogue that has already been entered. It is the data build sample data. Scroll through the data to see how it's been formatted. All the descriptions are completed and the units of measurement and cost centered links are done. If you want to do a quick search for items, click into the yellow filter bar at the top of the table. Type in say pine and you will see the system filtering the results so only items with the word pine in the description will appear. To start a new search, click the green trash can in the filter bar to clear the search characters and type in a new word. You can search through the codes, description and cost center columns. It's worth going through this catalog thoroughly to get an idea of how these data files are constructed. Using this catalog, may save you a lot of time. 
that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.